Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just yesterday I posted that Notepad is going to be getting more Microsoft Word features. And that's because uh, in this week's latest Dev and Canary Windows 11 preview build 26085, Microsoft had added a spell check and autocorrect feature in Notepad, which is a hidden feature. And that video will be in the end screen of this video. Now, once again, as I've mentioned previously on the channel, um, this so-called hidden feature that we spoke about yesterday is now rolling out for official testing where Microsoft says they are beginning to roll out an update to Notepad to Windows Insiders in the Canary and Dev channels on Windows 11 and that's with the version upgrade 11.2402.18.0. So once again, another indication that hidden features can start rolling out in some cases for official testing and make their way down to the stable version eventually. Now here we have a image provided from the actual blog post and the announcement and Microsoft says with this update Notepad will now highlight misspelled words and provide suggestions so that you can easily identify and correct mistakes. They are also introducing autocorrect which fixes common typing mistakes as you type as many of you may well know. So there we have it. Uh, the two Microsoft Word features, spell check and autocorrect, are making their way now into Notepad. Now, how this is all going to work, Microsoft says getting started with spell check in Notepad is easy as misspelled words are automatically underlined in red, as we can see. And to fix a spelling mistake, you click tap or use the keyboard shortcut Shift and F10 on the, mis on the misspelled word to see suggested spellings. They also mention that selecting a suggestion immediately updates the word, and you can also choose to ignore words in a single document or add them to the dictionary so they are not flagged as a mistake again. And something to take note of, which I think is a nice move, is that spell check in Notepad supports multiple languages. So at this stage, it's not just available in English, multiple languages, although Microsoft doesn't indicate at this stage what languages are supported. Now, they also mentioned that this feature is enabled by default for some file types, but is off by default in log files and other file types typically associated with coding. So that's an important bit of information to take note of. They also mentioned that you can toggle the setting on or off globally or for certain file types in Notepad app settings or temporarily for the current file in the context menu. And they've also mentioned that they've organized the settings page as well to make it easier to find and adjust Notepad app settings. And I posted on that yesterday, so go check that video out in the end screen. So there we have it. More Microsoft Word features now as previously posted, are making their way now into Notepad. And just on a side note, um, I actually am in favor of spell check and autocorrect coming to Notepad. But as I mentioned yesterday, I certainly hope that Microsoft isn't going to over-complicate and so-called overload and over-clutter Notepad in future updates. Um, I think the, the, um, the simplicity of Notepad currently is what makes it useful. And functional and if they're going to start pushing in a whole lot of um, word processing features into notepad I think it's gonna um, take away the basic simplicity which actually makes the app functional so that's going to be something to watch but nonetheless I think spell check and autocorrect are a nice addition and as mentioned we also get the character count and that video will be in the end screen which rolled out to the stable uh, in a previous update where you can also count you, the characters in Notepad. So a good couple of little tweaks and adjustments coming to Notepad. And it's going to be interesting in the future to see um, what other little features are going to be added to the legacy Notepad app. And I think this is because Microsoft now has deprecated WordPad. So they're obviously trying to make this a lot more practical for both Windows 10 and Windows 11 by bringing some of those features over and now popping them into Notepad. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.